Okay, so I want to take a second to just quickly go over a couple of things for the portfolio. Uh, there's been a couple of questions. I want to clarify a couple of things and make sure we're all on the same page. Okay, first of all, just to clarify, your portfolio is due May 18th. That's going to be a Monday. Okay, so May 18th, please make a note of that in your planner. Okay, the second thing that we still seem to have questions about is um, how we're going to turn the assignment in. So I want to say right now, there are nothing is going to be physically collected. This assignment is now going to be done as a Google Doc. So all parts of the assignment, the cover page, the study guides, the parts A, B, and C, any of that, that's going to be put into one, let me repeat that, one Google Doc, and you are going to share that with me. Okay, so we need to understand that this is now a digital assignment. All of your work is going to be put into one Google Doc and sent to Mr. Smith. Now, questions I have, you know, what about the poster that I'm doing? Take a picture of it. Insert it as an image into your Google Doc. Mr. Smith, what about the cover? What do I do? Design it on a Google Doc. Um, draw it. Take a picture of it. Include it as your cover. However you want to do that. Just as long as we're all on the same page, that everything that is due, <laughs> excuse me, for the portfolio is in one Google Doc. By now, you each should have looked at the Outsider's Portfolio Checklist. These are the required parts of the portfolio. This is the order that things should be in in the portfolio. So you need to make sure that you have everything in this order. Now, let's go through this quickly. All right. Again, this is a checklist before you turn it in that you should make sure you go through. So these are the parts right here. First of all, you're going to have a cover page. We talked about that. Design it. It must include pictures and images, things related to the novel, but also things that relate to you. Your portfolio should have a table of contents. This will tell me what page certain things are on. That means your pages need to have page numbers. All Tough Time Journal entries will come next. They're going to be seven total. There's also going to be something called a theme analysis worksheet that you will be including with Tough Time Journal number seven. Okay, we are not uh, ready to talk about that because we haven't done it yet. We're actually going to start it this week. Okay, next will be your creative writing project. Next will be part B, the making a difference project. And then part C will be your visual project. Again, this is the order that things should go in. Next should be the character chart and the symbolism chart. You must include both. After the character chart and the symbolism chart, you will include your novel study guide. How do I do that, Mr. Smith? Because the study guide is um, a different document. Take a picture of it. Redo it. Copy and paste the questions. Answer your questions in your portfolio. Um, again, uh, with everything that we're doing and how we have to do this, it's a little bit different. So problem solve. Okay. The portfolio project rubric is included. Okay. This is the last page. I've given you that. That was a part of the original assignment, I believe, that I gave you. If not, I will have that posted for you here shortly. Okay, you need to make sure that you have checked that all parts of the portfolio have been revised and edited. Correct MLA format is used where it is needed. So for example, the writing project or making a difference project, some of those things require to use MLA. Make sure you look over the requirements. Again, go back over your creatively decorated folder or binder. Make sure you have the things that you need on that cover sheet. Again, make sure that the portfolio is designed and arranged neatly. As we go through this then, this will give you everything else, all right? This will give you everything else that you need to do. For the journals, okay, for the tough time journals, this is very important, all right? I want you to make sure that you take a look here, okay? There are seven journals that you will include total. I want you to mark three of them that you want to be graded, okay? You can mark it with highlighting the, the tough time uh, prompt, you can put a star next to it. You can write a note to me at the top that says grade this one. Okay, but you're going to mark three. If you do not mark three, I will grade the first three. And if those aren't your three best, then that could be uh, shown in your score. So make sure that somehow, again, be creative, problem solve. Some way you have marked three Tough Time Journal entries to be graded. Next will be the character chart. These are the characters that should be already in your character chart. We've already done them. Double check and make sure. Remember this character chart is a final copy. 
So if your first one is sloppy and there's a bunch of spelling mistakes, redo it. Make sure it's a final copy. Okay. Don't forget about the, the uh, symbolism chart and then the, the, the novel study guide will come next. Okay. Make sure that you have a final copy to turn in. Okay. Everything is revised if necessary. Part A, Part B, and Part C. All right. Make sure they are labeled. Make sure I know it's Part A. Make sure I know it's Part B. Make sure I know it's Part C. So you need to have Part A, Creative Writing Project, and then you need to have your choice. Part B, Making a Difference Project, then have your choice. Part C, Visual Project, then have your choice. All right. And then be sure to include the portfolio of rubric at the end of your project. And again, like I said, I will be posting that soon. Okay, so again, just for, we're clear, right? This is going to be done on a Google Doc. So again, what you'll do is get into Google, open up Google Docs, and then from there, you're going to start a new document. Everything goes in here. Okay, now, the cool thing about this is that there are um, different templates and different things that you can actually use. You can do a blank one if you want, or you can go to the template gallery and you can choose maybe something, uh, a design or something that you want to use throughout the entire um portfolio. All right, have some fun with it. So as you scroll through here, you'll see some different templates that you can use. Feel free to do that. Feel free to play around with it. So um, for this one, I'm just going to quickly, I'm going to use this one as an example. All right. So when you open it, uh, you, again, double click on that. Uh, when I open up my document, then you'll see uh, that this is how it looks like. Okay. So I'm going to dismiss a couple things here. All right. And again, what I can now do then is just turn around and I can change um, I can change the font, I can change the titles, all that fun stuff, right, for my own project. Again, May 18th, 2020. Um, again, have a title for your portfolio. All right, my title, not sure it's going to be too creative but you get the idea, okay? From here, right, from here, uh, you can then include maybe a picture or some pictures. Again, pictures should be of you and pictures should be of the uh, of the book. So again, what I would do here is I would highlight, I would go here, insert image, sorry, insert image, upload from the computer, and then from my pictures, um, I can choose uh, a picture that I wanna use and I can put that on there. And again, uh, what I could do if I want to do a second one, all right, insert image. I could search the web, all kinds of fun stuff, right? Could go to download, see if there's any pictures there, um, all kinds of fun stuff, right? And again, uh, once I do that, I can even then highlight it. I can rotate things. I can just have all kinds of fun here with my pictures. Okay, does that make sense? Again, at the bottom, you may not want to use all of it, so you get rid of it, right? All right, and then again, when you, vo when you view full screen, you kind of get an idea of what you're looking at. And again, this might be a workable cover, all right? From there, I'm gonna stay in this document. I'm gonna to go to the next page and I'm gonna add my table of contents, and I'm gonna add all the things in order that I need to add, okay? The bottom line is this, ladies, at the end of the day, uh, number one is you need to ask questions, okay? Number two is you will need to problem solve, okay? Again, a reminder that this entire portfolio should be put into one Google Doc, all right? If you have any questions about that, let me know. Come, in, uh, you know, come online with me, let's have a meet, let's have a Zoom, and we can talk through any questions that you might have. All right, thanks.